All right, so here I was putting on old shirts and seeing what I'm going to throw away, uh, which is a lot. I, I was going to do like a sentimental thing with the shirts. Maybe we'll do that some other time. But I noticed the following. As you can see, those are stains. It rained about four or five inches today in a few hours. And uh, unfortunately, I had uh, a splotchiness on the roof a while back from May 2021. It rained like 21, um, what do you say, uh, 21, um, May of 2021, it rained a lot in, in the middle of May, like 15 inches instead of five, but it stopped leaking. Like once I got up there, oh Lord, you know, once I got up there, it wasn't very spongy at all, right? And um, I was like, well, you know, there's no point getting someone out. It was just a freak accident. Well, it is now January of 2023. And well, let's see. Yeah, you can see. So that is what most of this is what was May 21. This is new. I guess the... Um, Oh, there we go. We actually got a nice, nice good one here. This is new. Uh, let's see here. The, um, the inside of this thing, let's let the focus come back. The inside of that is new. Then there's a patch over there. Then maybe the edge of the thing over there. Oh boy, you know. So, and then I think, I don't even, yeah, that thing can be seen. That might be something, that might be, that one was there. Hold on, let's zoom out. Yeah, I'm right over here. And then over here, that thing was there before, a little bit. Did it get a little worse? Maybe. But unfortunately, this is just what it is. I think it's just getting a little damp over there. And I don't care how it looks inside. I mean, obviously, you know, this is... Because I've kind of stalled with the whole renovation thing with the downstairs. I never really got people to get back to me or they were kind of sloppy. We'll do a whole video on that. But it's like, well, I guess we got the water line done. That wasn't a renovation thing. It was kind of necessary because it was leaking. And then, well... I don't know how old the roof is, but I guess we'll have a new roof as well. Um, oh boy. Is this, because there are some old, I know that there's some leaks in the roof here that were fixed and it just looks like the drywall is weird. Oh, let me take a look real quick. Like the texture is a little off. Like over here, let me uh, flip it around. Let's see. Can we see it? Let me double in. Zoom. Over here, right? Like you can kind of see the textures. There we go. It's a little different. I guess take my word for it. Um, I actually should probably climb upstairs in the attic and see, um, see how things are. In fact, we probably should do that now. So I'm going to have to... Um, yeah, you know what? It's about midnight, but I go to bed late, so we might as well do this. And then that'll be our new project for tomorrow. Because this is the, the reason that leaks more is there's very little padding between this. Because these are cathedral oh, these are cathedral ceilings here. Yeah, see so you can see the uh, thing here. So there's really no, no attic above this. So it's gonna directly leak if there's an issue. Um, this is not gonna leak until it's really bad and I have to then go up here and there's no easy way to go up there, but we will go up there, okay? We will go up there and um, hopefully we'll do a video. I'll take this light up there. I know there's a, a pull chain thing for the light, but we'll go up there and we'll figure it out. So that's it for now. But we'll be back in a second. Well, hello. Uh, so here we are in the attic 
And uh, the wonderful part about being in the attic is um, we get to see how much uh, water issues are, are propping up today since uh, we just seen the cathedral ceilings. So let me climb up here a little better. I have my tripod so I can do my own thing here. to uh, hold on to things. I should have brought my glove, but whatever. All right. So let's see here. I also brought my light. Okay. Okay. So let's see here. I don't really, thankfully, the problem is that is the so let's see here. So the, yeah, we can use this as a prop here. So let me twist this. Oh, we do have a light here. Okay, I don't think that's really gonna help, but let's uh, pretend to do something. Yes, okay, I don't wanna fall through because uh, this is it right here. Anyways, that is the master bedroom. That's the cathedral ceilings we're talking about over there. And as a result, you can't peek in there, right? Like, there is no connection uh, there. And it's it's basically impossible to look in there. In fact, this light is not helping us. The, uh, this extra one here. Yes. Um, so yeah, that's the entrance to the house, and that is the master bedroom there, and we cannot peek in. So that's unfortunate. Or is this the master bedroom? Hold on. Let me think. Um, no, I think this is actually the master over here. This little arch, right? What the fuck is that? Oh, that's the house outdoors. Uh-huh. You know, because the siding of the house, what is weird is they replaced hardy plank on the outside of the house, but not here. Like, if you look far away... You can barely see it, but the opposite side of this wall, no, this is not the ceiling. This is the cathedral ceiling for the master. Okay, hold on. Let me, uh, is there anything? No. No, we can't peek in here either. But this is, yeah, this is, this is the little cathedral ceiling here, and then this is the rest of the house. Right, right. And uh, I might want to ask the roofer if, since I'm assuming they're just going to replace the whole roof at this point. Um, gosh, that sucks. But anyways, I don't see too much water damage here. And again, we can't see into the uh, cathedral ceilings here. But wait a second. I'm not... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I should have brought my laser pointer because... Yeah, I, I'm thinking, well, wait a second. If the cathedral ceilings are protected by... Are they protected by... Okay, this is the air vent to the master bedroom right here. Yeah, this is the cathedral ceiling. Absolutely. And let me uh, zoom out to half a zoom so you get a nice fisheye lens thing. Yeah, let me uh, step back here. Hopefully we don't fall through the fucking thing. All right. All right. Hold on. Let's put this here. You know what, let's put this light back on. I think it helps better than nothing. Now, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Let me step over here. Is that poop? Who's po No, that's just rubber. That's not poop. All right. I don't want to step too much on this. Ow, my head. So anyways, that is the master, that's the, the cathedral ceiling right here. Right here, that's the triangle it makes. And this is the air vent on the, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll be sure to go down there and, and point that out. But yeah, that's it. And of course you can't peek in there, but you can't, right, right. Okay, no, we got it. Yeah, the, the, the siding of the house was replaced with hardy plank and everything but there on the other side, I see that they didn't replace it. So they skimped out on that. I'll have to ask the roofer guy if they do siding because you know, I don't see too much, ow, water in there, but I don't know. If they're already up there, I'll ask. 
Uh, but anyways, I did see some water issues right here. Let me get back. I keep hitting my head here. So, I don't know if we can see it. Oh boy. You can kind of see there's a discoloration here with the exhaust pipe or something. You can see it's a little more black or something. That might be an issue. I don't know how recent that is because if I... Oof, it's fucking wires. I don't want to... It doesn't feel wet, right? <laughs> and over here, I don't see anything. So thankfully, I'm not seeing the classic dripping water thing. But it is these kind of slits through which the water's getting in. Because uh, you can see these lines in the ceiling. Uh, in the sloped ceiling uh, in the master bedroom. But I'm not seeing any water here, even though this is completely... On the other side is the actual roof, or, or the uh, shing, shingle things on the other side. This, but this is the roof. Okay, it's... I don't want to... Okay. Now, I don't want to... Mm -hmm. See, I wish there was better lighting up here. Because I do want to at least see... Okay, the heater, the furnace just turned off. That is the, um, yeah, that's the uh, chimney, or not, ch yeah, that is the chimney, I guess. It's the exhaust for the um, fireplace, which we actually have turned on right now, by the way. Um, yeah, that, this is actually the new AC that goes into the little office. That's why it looks a little cleaner and newer. Because that's only been there for a few years. Let me see if I can, because I don't think there's any other... The other thing is when they put the roof on, a new roof, you know, it's going to, you know, they do say the new stuff leaks more, ironically. But then it's a disaster to have to find it because I don't want to go through this, right? I put the padding in, so it's like impossible to figure it out, you know? Anyways, I don't want to... Ugh. Anyways, how old is this? this uh furnace by the way i kind of want to know that for my other reasons but this looks relatively new you know oh boy that looks no it's fine that's fine let me so i'm not really seeing any horrible um leaks anywhere else. Yeah. Ah, there we go. You know? I'm not really seeing it anywhere. Right? Yeah, let's because I, I also don't want to fall through the attic, right? That's also a bad idea. But uh, man, it's like, can we people? Can we design an attic that? Oh my god, that you can easily step through. Oh man, I'm right between the furnace. That's hot as fuck. I don't want to destroy any of these wires either. All right. Hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, try stepping on, on the cross beams here and see what is what, right? I mean, I think we got one more step here. And then after that, I just have no fucking clue where anything is anymore. But, right. Yeah, I'm not seeing any leaks. So that's good, because my concern was that the water is going to start drip, drip in here. And by the time you see it, you know, it's just a massive amount of water, right? But I'm really not seeing any spots anywhere. That, then again, I can't see that far, so... Wow. Yeah, I can't see 
too much under here. And again, stepping on wires and God knows, God knows what else. So that is a disadvantage of uh, putting all this insulation in the attic, is it helps, but then you don't know where to step. So, but I'm not seeing anything actively dripping, you know. I'm not really seeing any water spots just in the master bedroom. But we need to get somebody on that. I mean, that's just... You know, because again, you repaint that and oh, it just happens twice every two years. And then, okay, well, yeah. So. Hmm. Wonderful. Anyways, time to go back if it's at all possible. And, uh, so yeah, that's, that's basically, that's basically it. And, uh. It's even harder going backwards, but there we go. Okay, what the hell is this? Okay, it's just a... Uh... See? <laughs> I never like things that look like that, right? Loose wires, my favorite, you know. Is that live? I don't want to find out. Uh, and then that sort of ripped through. I don't know. Yeah. These are really old and big tubes over here. <sighs> All right. Hold up. It is tough to, I don't want to hit this, this pipe over. I think it's the exhaust for the gas. It's sometimes a little hotter. It's not like super hot, but it's the furnace exhaust, I think. All right. Nothing to hold on to. Is this a smoke detector up here? Who knows? I don't really care. And step down gently in case any wires are on me. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, no jumping for sure. Okay, where the hell am I supposed to? Oh boy, yeah. Very slowly. Okay, well, it's not that cold up here, by the way. You know, even this attic is pretty well insulated. So, yeah, I guess that's it. So we're going to see, because my, my guess is this is the, again, this is, let me flip. This is the outside of the house. That's the entrance. And this is the cathedral ceiling, actually. And this... Ah! Okay, right. That's the furnace. Um, and this is the... Yeah, well, speaking of the furnace, this is where the... Uh, right, the air vent is to the master bedroom. And this is the cathedral ceiling. That's a kind of triangular. And that's what we're going to see. After we climb down. So yeah, that's it for now. All right, so that's that's where the vent comes in, and that's the triangular shape. We were just behind that. And that is, um, yeah, that's just what it is. So, right. Now, we said that, wait a second, there's a lot of this is covered up here, right? And then, right here, I think, and... I should have gone up there with the laser uh, measuring tool I have because my idea is, um, oh, hold on, how do we, all right, so this is the entrance, this is right, is right over there is the vent, right behind, we were just right behind there, and you could still see a little bit of, of the, uh, what do you call it, the roof covering it, right, 
but then at some point it's actually totally exposed outside right and I think that's exactly where it starts leaking because there's no leak here both of these start hold on let me see if we can draw a straight line here right, right there and right there it, that's actually a more or less a straight line it doesn't look like it but it is notice there's no leaks to here to the air vent all right so I think that stuff is exposed a lot more to the outside it could be that that's leaking a little bit too because it's not like this is not a massive ongoing leak it's just when it rains a lot but it still has to be, you know, taken, you know. I don't know. It's obnoxious, but I highly doubt that if it were to rain a little bit, it would get worse. But you never know. So I'll have to ask. Yeah, I'll definitely have to ask the roofing people to come over and take a look. But that's it for now.